With artificial intelligence news dominating the headlines lately, while our social media feeds are filled with AI drawings and creations, many writers, artists, musicians, directors and producers throughout the world have spoken up against its use in the entertainment industry. But why? What's the problem? Surely AI really won't be a threat to the industry for several decades. Or will it? Well, today we'll discuss why it's an issue now and ask the question, does that make sense? Hello and welcome to another episode of Does That Make Sense? A Star Trek themed web series that normally discusses various odd or inconsistent Trek topics brought up over the years by you, this channel's audience. Today's video is a bit different though, as we explore a topic that could have huge ramifications for the franchise we all love, Star Trek. And of course, and as always, I'll be playing devil's little advocate about this topic in order to foster amazing discussions in the comments section below. So without further ado, let's dive in and ask the simple question, does that make sense? Since the invention of science fiction, the topic of artificial intelligence has been explored almost at nauseum, and Star Trek is no stranger to that either. Whether it's an AI controlling a society, deciding who will live or who will die in a war, or the simple subject of the rights of an AI, there are no shortages of opinions on the topic. So it got me thinking, are we really there yet? Is this really an issue? As a lot of you know or probably surmised, I spend a lot of my free time on these videos. The biggest time waster, of course, is the research I have to do on a vessel class scouring my own personal library and the internet as a whole for every tidbit of beta canon information I can get on the subject Starship class. Then, once it's done, it's off to writing, recording, creating the visual effects shots, editing, and then placing it out into the cosmos for you all to enjoy, or for that one person to complain about. Now imagine a world where I only had to type a single sentence into my computer and the research and writing part was done for me. Well good trinaries, you don't have to imagine anymore, as that's exactly what I've done. A little experiment to see if AI is truly a threat to the industry. And so I asked an artificial intelligence to write me a short script for a YouTube video on my favorite Starship class, the Sovereign class. And in seconds it spit one out. So I created the following little video based on its narration and its stage directions. So let's take a look and see what this AI can actually do. Welcome fellow Star Trek enthusiasts to another deep dive into the illustrious starships of the United Federation of Planets. Today we set our course towards the stars with the Sovereign Class, a vessel that epitomizes Starfleet's commitment to exploration, diplomacy, and defense in the 24th century. The Sovereign Class, Starfleet's flagship design of its time, represents the culmination of decades of technological innovation and strategic foresight. Born from the lessons learned from previous Starship designs, such as the Galaxy class, the Sovereign class was crafted with a singular purpose. To venture boldly into uncharted territories while ensuring the safety and security of the Federation. Its sleek lines and advanced systems not only enhanced its combat capabilities, but also allowed for extended deep space missions with unparalleled scientific and diplomatic functionalities. At the heart of the Sovereign Class's technological prowess lies its warp propulsion system, capable of reaching speeds previously deemed unattainable. Combined with quantum torpedoes and cutting-edge shielding, the Sovereign Class redefined what it means to be a frontline vessel in Starfleet. Throughout its distinguished service, the Sovereign Class has been at the forefront of some of the Federation's most critical missions, from thwarting the Borg invasions to facilitating delicate peace negotiations, the USS Enterprise-E and her sister starships 
have upheld Starfleet's principles with valor and honor. The Sovereign class wasn't just a ship, it was a home and a protector. Its advanced capabilities allowed the Federation to face the unknown with confidence, knowing they carried the spirit of exploration and discovery wherever they went. Beyond its operational achievements, the Sovereign class has left an indelible mark on Starfleet's legacy. Its design principles have influenced subsequent Starship generations, ensuring that the spirit of exploration and the quest for knowledge continue to guide Starfleet's endeavors. As we conclude our journey through the annals of Starfleet history, the Sovereign class stands tall as a testament to humanity's boundless curiosity and unwavering dedication to unity and progress within the Federation. Thank you for joining us on this exploration of the Sovereign class. Be sure to subscribe for more adventures from the vast Star Trek universe. Until next time, live long and prosper. Okay, I'm beginning to see the problem here, and that is, it's not that bad. Sure, it's a lot of fluff missing the true meat and potatoes you've all come to expect from one of my videos, but this does show just how close we truly are to an AI taking over the writer's job. And if we're here now, at this spot, imagine where we'll be in another five years with companies in the industry pumping in starships full of cash to develop AI further. And of course, it's not just about writing scripts with an AI. It's the artistic and visual effects work as well. Imagine a company like CBS simply telling an AI to create a 10 second shot of the TOS Enterprise flying through space, and a minute later, the AI produces one without months of work. What would that do to the industry turnaround times for a show? Add in deep fakes with voice synthesizing, and suddenly we get to watch the original series crew go on all new adventures, even though sadly, many of them have been gone for years. We are at the crossroads now, where our actions will dictate the future of the entertainment industry as a whole. Technological advances can be very scary, and oftentimes throughout history have been accompanied by a group or several groups of people losing their jobs they've worked at all their lives, and this is no different. What is different though, is that soon an artificial intelligence will be telling us what we should think. Sure, it might be guided by the big companies, but overall and in the end, it will be an AI telling us what the Trek morality is. And with each script written by the AI, each picture made, each voice brought back to life, aren't we losing a bit of our humanity? And if you think I was joking about all this or exaggerating, here's one last experiment I did with an AI for you all to witness. In a music AI, I typed a single sentence, picked a genre, and this is what the AI spit out for me. Enjoy.
But what do you think? Do you support the idea of AI taking over the entertainment industry? And what happens when AI gets so advanced that the issue of their rights under the law comes up? How would you stop or draw the line when it comes to AI? Well, leave your thoughts and ideas in the comment section below. I'm looking forward to reading what you have to say. And don't forget, if you'd like to help the channel develop me into an AI so you'll have to put up with me until the end of time, then please consider becoming a channel patron. A major help that allows this channel to purchase resources and 3D models to keep it going. The link to our Patreon account is in the description below. Thanks again for watching, live long, and prosper.